Hello everybody, we are live from Bologna, from the digital media zone at All for the Green with Eleonore Isunza and Gustavo Balleste uh, from Cinema Planeta, uh, Mexico. Uh, Eleonora and Gustavo are not just the co-directors of Cinema Planeta, but now also uh, real directors, uh, film directors, because they just presented at Cinema Ambiente in uh, Torino uh, their documentary Now All In, Sol de Movimiento, which means uh, so, uh, sun in movement. And um, Eleonora, Gustavo, welcome. Do you want to tell us about the film? Yes, uh, so the film Now We All In that we just made, and as you s know, because we were together, yes, the really. premiere was in the Guadalajara Film Festival in Mexico, and then we came here to Europe, and so we have screened this film in Cinema Ambiente in Torino, and now we are here, we are very happy to be here, thank you. And uh, yeah, Sol del Movimiento, Now We All In, who is a Nahuatl, uh, the language from the central Mexico, and it's in the calendar, the Aztec calendar, Now We All In is the fifth, the fifth movement. So the um, cosmovision of the Aztec tells us that uh, we are now in this e era, Mm -hmm. is the fifth mo uh, movement of the sun and we have to look and we to find the balance in the fifth movement the quinto sol and we have to uh, find this um, balance through the knowledge received in the other four movements in the other four suns so leveraging on the knowledge we gathered so far and exactly. what we learned so far uh, to do something good for our planet, right? Yes. And uh, Gustavo, what does uh, the film is an omnibus, right? Uh, so yeah, you yes. work with eight, uh, you, uh, Eleonora, and uh, six other directors. Yeah, it's a choral uh, movie, and because we visit eight different places in Mexico to try to find the effects of clim clim climate change, we decided that we can invite another people and other directors in Mexico to help us with their view and their hand to, to get into these towns, in these places, and, and to talk with people, because we didn't want that our movie was like a scientific-based uh, sure. movie. So we wanted to talk with the people and, and trying to find how is this problem advanced in their community, and also how they are uh, taking uh, care of, of, of this situation uh, about mitigation or adaptation. In, in every case, was different. So we decided to go to the north to search for the cold or to the seas how, uh, to see how the sea level is uh, you know, happening. Also in the central Mexico, we visit Me Mexico City, which is a city very polluted. Yes. And you can find a lot of uh, CO2 uh, uh, there. And also in Oaxaca, for example, we found that the farmers, they don't know how to, to calculate the time to grow their, you know, their, their corn or other, other seeds. So yeah, in Mexico it's happening and we didn't have any other movie there because as you know, we organize a, a, a film festival. So we didn't find a movie like this before. So we wanted to go forward and to produce this movie, no? Yes, which you also produced as Cinema Planeta, correct? Cinema Planeta is a, a fantastic environmental film festival in uh, Cuernavaca, uh, which takes place every year in April. Do you want to tell us about uh, the last edition? Uh, since it <laughs> uh, yes, it was a very uh, good edition. It's, it was our ninth edition, and really we, we we feel that we have been making this for nine years. So this edition, especially this edition, we enjoy a lot. We had a lot of guests, uh, about 85 films, every film about environment. And so we also project our film there in Cinema Planeta. And also I know a lot of students and yes. young people, right? Yes. What do you think is the role of uh, uh, film, uh, films and uh, also film festivals in raising awareness about climate change and the importance of protecting our environment. Sure. Uh, as well, we think that movies can change people, can touch their hearts. It's a very powerful tool to teach 
And when uh, people go there or a young people go into a room, they can see a movie about, for example, climate change. They, they, I think they start to think what to do and how can they participate, you know, avoiding this problem. So we received in our uh, last edition like 15,000 students wow. in two weeks. That's, that was a hard work. Congratulations. Yeah, it yeah. was heavy. It's and about 1,700 students per hour. Yes, yes, <laughs> wow. As you can measure <laughs> it. So, uh, so we screen movies, especially about climate change and energy, this edition. And at the end, we have these debates with them, trying to, to tell them what they can do in their uh, normal lives. Uh, and uh, it's, I think it's a very powerful program that we have since nine years ago. And it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. At the end, we receive like, 35,000 people in the festival in all our activities. We, are, we don't have only movies, but we have writings, we have co conferences, we have these special programs. We teach how to, for the young people, to document you know, aspects of climate. Yes. So uh, it was a very nice edition. I really enjoy it. Amazing. And uh, may I ask uh, what was the reception from the Italian uh, public uh, uh, after the screening uh, at Cinema Ambiente? Well, you know, we have a full room. Amazing. Yes, amazing. We were very happy. And then uh, in, at the end of the film, we had a Q&A, 40 minutes Q&A with a lot of questions. And they were very interested in, in our vision because, as Gustavo says, we were very interested in show how do the people it's already adapt to the, change, the climate change. And so the here in Italy, they were uh, surprised to see communities no, from all over the country because you, ha you can see how biodiverse is Mexico because you see deserts, you see mountains, jungles, mangroves, oceans. Which so reflects also the fact that climate change is really uh, the most everybody. Uh, pressing issue of our time and it, it, it declines uh, and it affects uh, many, many sectors from agriculture to uh, you know, um, migration. Migration. Yes. yes, absolutely. So, uh, are you planning to have other screenings in Europe at the moment? Well, not, not at the moment. I think in Bologna was our last uh, uh, screening yesterday. Yesterday we, night. It happens yes. in the Cineteca de Bologna. It was a nice screening as well. Thank you for having us here. Thank you and, for coming. Uh, yeah. Well, we have already uh, for the next. Uh, semester for the year, uh, Portugal, and also Wonderful. maybe Iran soon. Wonderful. Yes. Wonderful. And we are going to Tehran, no? In Iran, and some, on, uh, some other festival, they are already asked for the film. So we are very happy with the results. Yes, thank you so much for being here with us. Uh, as uh, Gustavo mentioned, the film was screened yesterday night at the Cinema Lumiere here in Bologna as part uh, uh, of uh, a whole uh, week-long series of screenings, uh, both uh, at the Cinema Lumiere and in Piazza Maggiore, organized in partnership with the Cineteca di Bologna. And the news this year is that the screenings in Piazza Maggiore are actually solar powered. Wow. So, wow. you know, well, Yeah, we, saw, only, the we yes, saw the panels. We saw the panels. Beautiful. Yes. 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 So yeah. we're very happy about that. Uh, and uh, we hope uh, this will continue. And we hope to have you here next year. Yeah, we are okay. thinking in a movie, uh, after doing uh, Nagui Olin, we thought that we should shoot a new movie mm -hmm. about renewables in Mexico. We are working with the ministries of energy and environmental in Mexico, trying to, to go for another production. And maybe the next uh, occasion we can show it uh, with you in another place somewhere else. Solar power, <laughs> solar always. Power. Solutions. Solutions, solutions. Solutions, solutions, solutions. Thank solutions, you so solutions. much for focusing on this uh, very, very important uh, issue, which is also a great opportunity. And uh, thank you for watching us. Thank you.